Hi church and happy Christmas. Got my Christmas jumper on. See that? Coca-Cola right there. You know it's Christmas when you see that advert. My name's Darren and I am one of the pastors at Audacious Church and it's great for me to be here and launch our Christmas devotions to you and with you. Uh, we're going to go on a journey, uh, go on a road, we're going to go through some fields and we're going to end up in Bethlehem over the next uh, few days. Different people will come on and just share with you their thoughts on the journey to Christmas, the journey to Jesus and his and his birth. Each devotion will take you on this journey and through these areas of the road, the fields and Bethlehem, drawing you closer to Jesus. Um, and as we draw close to Jesus, he draws close to us. Today we start at the beginning of that road in Luke 2, verse 4 to 7. Let me just read this to you. This is what it says in Luke 2, verses 4 to 7. So Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. Because he belonged to the house and line of David, he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for him. This shows us the journey that Mary and Joseph started on in Luke 2. And then they were heading towards Bethlehem. They got to Bethlehem, but on the road to Bethlehem, they were holding in their hearts a promise, a promise of greatness. And just let me read this scripture, the promise of greatness from Isaiah verses nine, verses six, uh, chapter nine, sorry, verses six to seven. This promise they held, Mary and Joseph held this promise in their heart because they had both been spoken to by God about what was happening with in Mary and within them both and in their hearts. And it says this in verse six of Isaiah nine, for unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Wow, what a promise. A child born, a son given, the King of Kings, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And on the road that Mary and Joseph were on, they held in their heart this promise of the Saviour. They, they knew God had spoken to them, the promise was there, but they had to go on the road to Bethlehem. They had to go on this road. And as they started on this road, I'm, I'm guessing that their minds would have been filled with many questions, thoughts, frustrations, fears, maybe even doubts. They were in the gap between the promise and its, and its fulfillment. It's deliberate. You may be experiencing something the same this, this Christmas. You may be in this moment where God has promised you something and you know it and you feel it. You, you've, you've heard him. You've read it in scripture. Uh, it might be about a relationship restored, a loved one healed, a child finding, returning to Jesus or even financial provision. You have a promise, but you are living in the gap, the bit between the, 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 the thought of the promise and the delivery of the promise. And like Mary and Mo Joseph, the only thing you can do is keep going, keep putting one foot in front of the other, staying on the road that leads to the promise and keep trusting in the promise giver. Don't take your eyes off God. Lean on him in difficult moments, in your frustrations. Don't let your feet wander from the road. Stay on that road. Staying on the road is being fearlessly determined, fearlessly devoted, seriously fun and wildly authentic. It's making sure you are planted in church life, connected to small groups and growing in your faith, reading your Bible, sharing with others, um, praying in, in the mornings and in the evenings and just keeping your eyes fixed on Jesus because you're in the gap, the, the point between the promise and its fulfillment. Stay on that road, trusting in God, leaning on him. And you will, like Mary and Joseph, you will see the promise fulfilled. That's what I'm praying for you today, that as you 
are in the gap, as you may be feeling that frustration, that disappointment, that thought of when will this change? When will this shift? When will I see breakthrough? God's in the gap with you. Jesus is there with you. And my prayer, my prayer for, for you this morning, church, for all of us, for me, as we are in, in the gap between the promise and its fulfillment, is that we would see Jesus and that we would keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Love you, church. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you are doing. We will see you soon. I'm praying that you will see and know Jesus. Love you. Bye.